Today I am going to take Indonesia's new high-speed train from Jakarta to Bandung. It's going to be my first time traveling with such a fast train, so I'm quite excited. And yeah, how fast will we reach Bandung and what will the experience be like? Join me and let's find out. All right, so this is Halim Station, which is in East Jakarta, actually quite far away from the city center. Excuse me, where's the, the fast train? Oh, here is the whoosh? Yes, whoosh. Over there? Yes. Okay. Terima kasih. Okay, terima kasih. But this is where you have to go if you want to take the new train. So I do have a ticket already. You can easily buy it online. I will tell you more about the process later. Ticket? I have on ticket. my phone. Oh, uh, oh, you need to see it here. Yeah, okay. Yes. Go this way? Yes. Okay. Terima kasih. Thank you. All right. So yeah, very easy. You just show a QR code on your phone and there we go. And yeah, booking the ticket was actually quite easy. You can just do it on the website of the train. You need to register an account there, which can be done in like two minutes. And then you can simply pay online as well. So very easy, very convenient. But I'm actually surprised that there are no signs here for the train. Because I think this station is also for like the metro or for like regular trains. Hello, is this the fast train? Ticket again? One person, yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. We do have tight security here, comparable to the security at an airport. But that's all right. Hello, brother. Hello. Kabar. Kabar, Mike. Hello. Oh, you're now going to Bandung. I'm going to Bandung, yeah. I follow you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Oh, what's your name? Iswandi. Ah, you're from Jakarta? I'm Malaysian, but stay in I'm Bandung. I'm from Malaysia. Yeah. Oh, oh meeting so Malaysians what's your here. Plan? I'm going to Bandung today. Bandung? Yeah. Right. yeah. I want to take a picture with you sure, sure, so yeah. I can show off to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Where in Malaysia are you from? I'm Sarawak. Sarawak? You've been to Sarawak, yeah, right? Yeah, I've been there last year. You're also taking the, the new train? Oh, yeah, the, the, the new train. Actually, oh. I, I, I tried the new train from Bandung this morning. Oh, you tried it already? Yeah. So oh, this morning and now you're just going back? Yeah. Just, just to try, try the train? Yeah. So I do think that the line that you can see behind me is probably already the line for the, for the train. I am here like half an hour before the scheduled departure. And that is here on the screen. Halim to Tegalua. That's the station name in Bandung where we're going to end up. And yeah, departure time, one o'clock. State checking. So this is gate number one. So we need to find gate number six. Oh, this is gate two, but I see a long line. Oh, oh actually, this is, there's a difference between gate and platform. So I can see over there platform five and six and gate number two. Yeah, I'm also not the only person filming here. This is a brand new train only opened uh, recently, I think like a week or two ago. So also for the locals, this must be a very exciting train ride to take. All right, just scan the QR code here. Oh, here we go, that was easy. And yeah, there's also a VIP room here. I'm not sure how you get access to that. There are actually three different classes on this train, like a first class, the upper premium class and the basic class. I'm not really sure about the names though, but there are three. But yeah, here we go. This is the new train. And I think we have eight different uh, sections of the train. Uh, even staff here welcoming us. But yeah, let's go to the front to take one view, an iconic view at the front. And yeah, this is now the fastest train in all of Southeast Asia. And I think it's also the second fastest train in the world. Only one train in China is faster than this one. And yeah, the whole project of this train was actually also funded by China. It was a $7 billion project. All right, I'm not the only one who wants to take a picture at the front here. So as you can see, it's very popular to take pictures here of the train. I waited already a few minutes here now because I would like to have a shot without any other people. But yeah, if you want that, you need to bring some waiting time. But it's still uh, like 20 minutes before departure, so all okay. <laughs> all right, that took quite a while just to take one shot in front of the train. But yeah, you see the final result uh, as the thumbnail of this uh, video. So there's really a lot of staff here. Like you can see, like I see like five, six people just here. And yeah, I'm looking for my cart now. Oh, there's even a TV in here, I think. See the big camera? Much bigger than my camera. <laughs> so this is number three right here. Oh, I am number eight. So I guess it will be at the end over there. Wow, I can feel the excitement of the people here. Everyone is taking pictures or little videos. Yeah, if you're from Indonesia, let me know if uh, this is something really exciting for your country. 
It is my impression that it is. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for eight. 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 Yeah. I think I'm an eight. Let me double check. Four. And a four you. Uh, so oh yeah. In front of you. The last yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. One. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, there's so much staff here. I think I've never seen so many people just welcoming you into the train. Basically, every door has somebody working here. Six, seven. Hello. Oh, I'm literally at the front of the train. Oh, actually, I should have taken the picture here. Nobody here. Check it out from this side. There are no people here. So this is a nice shot of the train, right? Without any other people. Yeah, the train actually also looks quite beautiful, I have to say. All right, I have premium economy class. That's the name of my class. Hello. I can leave the bag here. Okay, that's convenient. All right, here we go. First impression, it is very nice air conditioned in here uh, oh i think i'm walking by already oh, four f i think that's my seat mm. all right let's see how full the train actually will be i see quite a lot of uh, empty spaces in this car at least for example the three over there but yeah let's see how comfortable is the seat actually so first impression i have enough leg space here for me which is important. I am a tall person, 1 meter 90, 6'2 in American size. And this is actually all right. And then I have a view out of the window here, which we are going to uh, yeah, make use of later during the ride, of course. And then there's a little table here, I guess, where you can place something up to a maximum of 10 kilo. And then there's a little TV screen here as well. We have also in English, welcome to Jakarta, Bandung. And other than that, I think I have discovered everything. So for example, what I'm missing here is electricity sockets, which we're having here actually. So you can charge your phone or your laptop also here in the train. Let's actually have a look. The, the gentleman next to me just had a brilliant idea. Uh, I should film the first class as well. Let's see. Ah, yeah, nobody is in the first class. Oh, this is the first class. Okay, looks way uh, more spacious, of course, than the, the class where I'm sitting. So we have two seats here, one seat on the right side and only three, six, nine seats in total in the first class here. So uh, yeah, way more spacious and then over there is uh, the, the conductor of the train, I guess. I'm not sure when I tried to book the, the train, there was no first class available anymore. But I mean, it's like five minutes before departure and there's nobody here. So that is a bit strange. Maybe the first class is not available to book yet. Oh, does it close automatically? I guess so. And then there's a seat here as well for the crew, I guess. And then here you store your, your luggage, which is actually quite nice. So if your bag is too big to store it up here, then you just leave it in the front of the train. What is your name? Bandung. You are from Bandung? Yeah. Okay, in case you are wondering whether there's Wi-Fi on the train or not, I don't see a Wi-Fi that sounds like it's from the train. Just probably all the other phones here, so no Wi-Fi on the train. But yeah, it should be a very quick and short oh, ride. Yeah. So I would say Wi-Fi is not actually needed. Yeah. All right, and we are leaving. And are we leaving on time? It is exactly one o'clock now. So that is a great first impression. We are leaving punctual on time. I'm not sure. I, I've been on many trains before in my life, but this is something exciting for some reason. Being on one of the fastest trains in the world just feels a little bit different. All right, let's see. So I think the whole station here actually is quite new. It looks like it's still being constructed in many parts. So I think not only the train is new, also the whole station here seems to be quite new. Ah, the speed is shown there later, right? Yeah. Yeah, so obviously we are not at full speed now. I'm uh, curious how long it will take until we have reached the, the maximum speed. Which, by the way, the maximum speed is 350 kilometers per hour, which is about 217 miles per hour. And yeah, the length of the journey is 142 kilometers or 88 miles. And yeah, the usual trains take about three hours for this journey. But I think we are going to be much faster than that. Uh, did you ask if we can go to the first class? <laughs> Say no. Oh, nobody in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but you never ask, you never know, right? You can at least try it. Yeah. All right, and we are now in a tunnel actually for, I would say, like a minute or so already. And I can feel that the speed gets a bit faster. Current speed, what are we at now? 143. 
which is like a half or less than half of the top speed. I think this is the speed that uh, I am known to, like a regular train in Germany, for example, feels like around this speed. And yeah, you can see here, there's a residential uh, area over there. And here we have these walls, probably to uh, reduce the noise level coming from the train. And also maybe to prevent people from actually entering the railways. Okay, and to show you the journey on the map. So we are here leaving Jakarta now, and then Bandung is the city right here. So that's more towards central Java, but still consider it West Java, I think. Wow, and you can really feel we are getting faster and faster. I'm not sure how fast it will look later in the video on the camera, but I cannot really feel that this is very, very fast. Currently there's no speed announcement on the screen. Suhu Dalam Ruang Gan. Ah, I think, no, that's the temperature, 22 degrees. But yeah, the temperature in here is actually very nice. Sometimes the trains in Southeast Asia are very, very cold. I remember when I took a train in Malaysia, I had to wear a hoodie because it was that cold. So some trains in Asia, they crank the AC a lot, but here, very perfect temperature, I would say. Okay, we are almost at top speed now and it, it feels very fast. Definitely different compared to a regular train experience. But still, the train is not shaky, it's very quiet, it's also not really loud. We have reached the top speed and actually it feels still very smooth. It looks incredibly fast when I look out of the window. But other than that, if I'm just sitting here normal and I wouldn't know it's that fast, actually it's still comparable to regular train ride. But I'm actually curious how does it feel when I'm actually walking. So, hello. Let's have a look outside the window here. So this is the Indonesian countryside and yeah, many parts of the railways are actually blocked by the, by the walls, like this one here. So that probably the people living behind here are not disturbed by the noise and the first class is still empty. And yeah, in case you're wondering, there's also a toilet attached here. Let's have a quick look into the bathroom here. Actually for a train bathroom it looks really really nice. I think I've never seen a train bathroom that clean and nice actually. Wow, that's a great impression of the bathroom here. But actually have one walk to the other class. Ah, so this looks like some machines right here. Hello. And then we have the same that we have over there as well, with the same class, the same seats. We have toilets here, two actually right here. Then another compartment to store the luggage. It looks like we are in a tunnel again. Yeah, but the whole train really looks very nice. You can really see it's a new train, it's a modern train. I am surprised that you can just walk around the train pretty normally despite the high speed. Oh, and we have some mountains here. That looks beautiful actually, right? Oh, and now the view is blocked again by the walls. <laughs> Maybe like this. Ah, here we go. Yeah, usually I really like to take trains because it also gives you an opportunity to actually see something from the country that you are visiting. So I don't really mind long train rides usually, but this train ride is so fast that I don't really have the time to enjoy the views, you know? And by the way, the TV here doesn't show any movies or anything. It's just the same picture the whole time. And yeah, it's crazy. 23 minutes into the ride and we are already almost in Bandung. So we are here currently, coming from here. That is uh, just incredible fast. And in case you're wondering, there are no drinks or food being sold on the train. So if you want to have some drinks, you gotta bring your own. But I mean, for such a short ride, you don't really need food and drinks, right? Okay, as you can see, we have slowed down a lot. I think that's because we are approaching the first station. So there are only two stops uh, on this ride. So we are here now, Padalarang, which is here on the outskirts of Bandung. Okay, and it is now 1.34, so from Jakarta to this one on the outskirts of Bandung was 34 minutes. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bye bye. Oh, Indonesian people are always so friendly. Yeah, I'm in Indonesia for I think around six weeks already now. And uh, yeah, I really, really like it here. The people are so friendly. It's definitely one of the friendliest countries I have been to.
Oh. <laughs> See, talking of friendly people. And then she comes with a bright smile saying hi. Well, I love the people here. But yeah, to be honest with you, I start to feel a little bit dizzy. I am not 100% sure if it's because of the ride, but I can't really think of another reason. I had good breakfast today, I am hydrated with water. Mm, but I do feel a little bit dizzy in my, in my head, also a little bit in my stomach. So maybe that is coming because of the, the speed. So I'm actually happy that the ride is going to be over soon. So I think from here to the final station, it's just a couple of more minutes. Let's have a quick look outside. Here we go. Ah. Yeah, it looks also like a very new station here, I have to say. So maybe the station is also newly built and more people are taking pictures in front of the train. Okay, and we are leaving the station. For the reference, it is now 1.39. So 39 minutes total traveling time and let's see how many more minutes until the final station. And wow, check out the view here. That looks really nice, right? The sun coming through the clouds here. Wow. So I think they are already preparing here for the ride back. And uh, actually it's crazy because after every person that uses the toilet, somebody comes to clean it. So they're really uh, taking good care of the train here. But yeah, you can see it's uh, yeah, absolutely nothing to complain about. Super clean here, all brand new, modern. So a really nice train. We would like to say goodbye and thank you for using our service. Whoosh, 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 yes. Okay, and we have arrived at the final station. And yeah, what's the time now? It is now 1.54. So 54 minutes, which I think is a little bit later than the scheduled arrival time, a few minutes. But hey, less than an hour for a journey that regular trains need about three hours for. So that is actually very nice. And yeah, also this station right here. Have a look, it looks brand new. Everything new and modern. But yeah, let's see how the checkout process out of the station will be. And then I will give you my final thoughts, my final review. And yeah, once again, people are taking a lot of pictures here with the train, in front of the train, next to the train. Yeah, I really feel like this is also something very exciting for the locals here, not only for me as a tourist. I have a lift as well? Oh, it's okay, I can take the stairs. Yeah, no problem. But yeah, if you don't want to carry your bags, there's also a lift available over there. Okay, so how does the station look from the inside here? Not much going on, like no shops or anything. So if you want to go on a journey like this, better bring some food and snacks if needed before. Okay, it looks like you also need to scan your ticket to leave the station. Good thing I didn't delete the, the QR code yet. All right, here we go. Simple and easy. Oh, and check this out. People are being interviewed there from probably the TV about their experiences. Oh, it says CNN Indonesia here. That is very interesting. And yeah, I just had a look on Google Maps. I just noticed that this station is actually quite far away from the center of Bandung. And you know what's very funny? Uh, it takes about an hour to get from here to the center with a car. To be honest, I didn't check that before, but that's longer than the train journey and that's uh, incredible. <laughs> Maybe it would have been smarter for me actually to get off at the first station, which might be is nearer to the center of Bandung. So that was a little bit of my mistake, to be honest. Yeah, so this was indeed a big mistake I made. If you want to go to the center of Bandung, better get off at the first station. And from there, they have so-called feeder trains, which can take you within a few minutes to the center of Bandung. But yeah, overall, I would say this was probably one of the best train experiences I ever had. Also the process of getting the ticket online was very easy and by the way I paid 300,000 Indonesian rupiah for this. And if you haven't seen my previous video from Jakarta where we explored some very local neighborhoods, met many friendly people, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive and then see you on the next episode. Ciao guys!